semester school. Mm -hmm. uh, when a youngster comes here, he comes here for five years. So therefore, he's got a tremendous opportunity to go to school, have his education paid for with a football scholarship, and also have the opportunity to really work at the type of job you know, in the academic area that, that he would like to pursue upon graduation. Mm -hmm. Do all of that in the city of Boston. looking for a school I wanted I wanted the urban um, environment I wanted there to be you know a lot of action and a lot of a lot of things going on and you really get that at Northeastern you're in the city you're in a major city and uh, it's a great town you can't beat Boston uh, you really can especially as a college town it's probably it's probably the largest college town in the world really there's 60 colleges in this around here and there's a lot of girls and it's you know it's really great <laughs> tighter team this year. We're a lot, a lot closer than we have been in the past. Everybody seems to get along really, really well with uh, everyone else. And uh, that, that really helps to have that harmony uh, among your players. And, uh, you know, it, it uh, extends off the field into, uh, into the classroom. Even. The players that represent our football team at Northeastern are just like everyone else. And quite frankly, we want them to be that way. They're students first. When we recruit them, we make a very thorough check of their academic and social abilities. That's something that's very, very important to us. We don't expect them to come here and to put them on a pedestal, to let them think that there's something different. They have to get up in the morning, they have to go to class, they have to take tests, they have to do all the things uh, at a school uh, such as Northeastern because, as you say, we are not only career-oriented, but we're a very, very demanding academic institution. <laughs> academics tied into the co-op program. Primarily, we've got the majority of our, our, uh, our football players are in four areas. They're in engineering, they're in business administration, they're in uh, criminal justice, and they're in, they're in some area of the arts and sciences or liberal arts. I'm an economics major. Uh, I was, uh, came in as an economics major. I was going to go into the business program, but the economics program offers a little more flexibility in, uh, in its curriculum as opposed to like the a, uh, the more rigid business uh, uh, school. I work as a broker downtown uh, for Fidelity Investments. Um, sell mutual funds, things like that, do some marketing for them, some uh, statistical analysis. <laughs> Over two years ago, Northeastern University went out and hired a full-time academic advisor. Mm -hmm. Bill Dudzak is, is with our program. He is, he's a former Northeastern graduate. He works in, as an assistant superintendent of schools and education throughout the greater Boston area. And he personally monitors all of our athletes. And particularly, he does, a, he does an excellent job with our football players. They, they are able to go see him when they need advice on what courses to take. If they need tutoring, he is there not to tutor them, but to set up tutoring for them. He also sets up study halls where we have uh, proctors there that help. So there are all these support services, I think, are, they are key to an athlete. We have a scholarship program at Northeastern University which is in compliance with the NCAA. It's a, it's a, a full athletic scholarship, which is a, we are allowed to give to individuals, football players, as they uh, leave high school. Um, basically, it's a room, board, books, tuition, and fees scholarship. It's no more, no less. It's the same scholarship that the Boston College can give a football player or Penn State or Syracuse or Boston University. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when a youngster comes here and decides that he wants to play football here, uh, in essence, the basic costs of his education are taken care of. Right?